Quite a few people have asked for this, so here we are. A quick video on my control scheme for Lucario, as well as my usual routine for warming up. Getting into my control bindings, you can see that they're quite different from a lot of people's. I'll be talking more about the common differences first, and then I'll be moving on to the more stranger choices later. Like most people, I changed the C-Stick from Smash Stick to Tilt Stick. As far as I know, this is a pretty universal change that most people do, as it allows for easier tilts on the ground, as well as full momentum aerials, which I'm pretty sure is not possible with Smash Stick. This also allows for certain tech options like pivot cancel death tilts and attack cancelling. I've also changed the L button from shield to jump. I personally do this as I usually use the L button when doing ASC combos, as well as during throw combos. I'll also use this button when attack cancelling, but that's just personal preference. On to the big changes. You can see that I've set both the B button and the entirety of the D-pad to shield. I use both of these in order to seamlessly cancel or sphere on the ground. I'll use the B button when I want to input a movement after cancelling, whereas I'll use the D-pad if I want to input an attack on the C-stick afterwards. This change definitely took a while to adapt to after using the B button especially for over a decade. Finally, I changed the Y button to Special from Jump. Having Y as Special just felt natural to me, as it allows for easier B reverses and Y passes. The typical warming up that I do isn't really strenuous or taxing, it's mostly just very basic exercises that focuses on bread and butters, movement, and some tech. I mostly warm up by playing friendlies before the actual sets take place locally, but this is something that I'll do every now and then when I'm at home. I normally start by just practicing my B reverses, wave bounces, and turnarounds in conjunction with the cancelling tech, both landing as well as on the ground. Movement is honestly the most important thing for Lucario, and bad movement is what usually puts me in disadvantage. For newer players, you may just want to focus on one of these things at a time and just repeat it over and over again until it becomes muscle memory. Personally, I just boot up Battlefield and practice this while watching a video or a show or something. You might ask why I don't really focus on the screen while I do this. It's mostly because I think having a mental note of where you are at all times on stage is a super important and overlooked skill. Your eyes should always be focused on the opponent, not yourself, and this helps with that quite a bit. After movement, I just practice the basic bread and butters that Lucario has. Thankfully, his combo game isn't huge, so there's not a lot of practicing that's needed here. Nair into down tilt into grab combos is pretty much all you're going to be doing at low percent, so just make sure you're capable of doing that. Practicing potential jab lock combos is always handy as well. Just keep in mind that not everyone is going to miss the tech for a jab lock, so keep in mind the tech situations as well. It's also important to bump up Lucario's damage and practice ASC combos from it as well, the most important ones being both Dare and Bear respectively. One key thing I do want to make special mention of is down tilt into back air. I can't speak for all methods, but usually I will do this by attack cancelling. The down tilt, buffer a forward dash, and then immediately buffer a F tilt in the opposite direction, immediately followed by a jump on the L button. At higher percents, I will use a instant reverse aerial rush instead, or IRR for short. This can be done by buffering a dash forwards and then holding back and jumping at the exact same time. And that's it for today. A pretty short video all in all, but I do hope this helps out a few of you who have been asking about questions on these type of things, since I've had a few comments about control schemes and what I usually do when practicing. If you like what you see, then feel free to stick around and subscribe. I'm not the most frequent uploader, but if you do like seeing videos on Lucario, then I'm probably a guy. <laughs>